Why am I a VTuber? I'm a massive weeaboo, and original character Do Not Steal is one of my favorite things. I have over 20 original characters that I have made and cherished for a very long time. The truth of the matter is, I just think it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it sounds really fun. Yeah, the main thing with like, if you want to become a VTuber is to make sure you actually enjoy streaming first or like recording stuff and do stuff. That would be the first thing because I do have friends of mine that have become VTubers and then realize afterwards that they don't actually like recording or doing stuff. But I got into this because I liked the technology. <laughs> I just think it's neat. Too late, I've already spent $5,000 on my debut for 10 followers. See, the beautiful thing about being a VTuber and being a streamer is that even regular flesh tuber streamers have this difficulty as well. Because people who've been here before, I've heard me mention this before, but I have an IRL friend. Prior to me starting streaming, I have an IRL friend who was insistent that they were going to become a streamer. And we had to talk this person out of quitting their day job because they were streaming to five people and believed that if they quit, quit their day job and just started streaming for 10 hours a day. Yeah, no, don't do that yet. No, 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 no. I, when I started off, like I know it's it's hard to, to process when you do see somebody stream and they have like a fancy background and they have a whole bunch of fancy stuff going on in the background. When I started off with, I spent $93 on my model, Canadian. My very, very first one, like I have some of like the, the old, the ancient Girl DM 1.0 black hoodie model. I spent $93 on that. And I used that the entire first year. One is a good jumping point from day job to full-time streamer. So I didn't make that choice until I was starting to make the same amount of money when I was streaming as I was with my day job and when that was stable. So like I had three months, four months of that happening in a row and I was like, okay. And then I had a fallback plan, which means I told mom and dad DM and they were like, well, hey, if, it, if, you, if you heck it up, you can have free rent until you get a new job. So I was like, okay. 